Now, the preacher must be a watchman. watchman. One that have the oversight, one, and one that have insight, two. Oversight, he must be able to oversee everything that's being done without respect to person, no favoritism. That's right. In other words, let me make an example. If a sister in the church get pregnant out of wedlock, and if he make her come before the church and repent, and then his daughter get pregnant out of wedlock, but he don't make her come before the church, you're a hypocrite. A hypocrite. Amen. And you got favoritism. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Amen. That's right. When you have the oversight, no favoritism, no respect the person, mm -hmm. no church favorites. Amen. Amen. That's right. You treat everybody the same. Yeah. That's when you have the oversight. Over. That's right. All right. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And what? Therefore hear the word at my mouth. Hear the word of God at my mouth. And give them warning from me. Do what? Give them warning from me. That's what I'm determined to do. That's right. I'm determined to warn the warn. world. Warn. Don't care if you don't like me. I'm warn. not striving for no one to love me no how. That's right. As long as I got the love of God, I'm all right. That's right. I'm not looking, uh, you know, a lot of people look, to be accepted by others, and I'm not worrying about that type of childish folly. That's right. The only one I'm looking to be accepted by is heaven. Amen. If I can be accepted by heaven, I got the world beat. Oh, yeah. Give them warning. What, what good is he whom the people accept and God reject? That's right. People accept you and God reject you. You ain't, we ain't doing nothing, man. Nothing. Give them warning. Give them warning from me. Now, this is what's missing in church, Amen. there's no warning. no warning. And when there is no warning, there is no preaching against sin. That's right. You show me a church that don't have no warning, I show you a congregation of sinners. Amen. Doing what they want to do, how they want to do it, when they want to do it. No discipline, no order. Amen. Everything is out of order. It's just a sham. That's right. Thank God when the days of Elijah the prophet was here and uh, the prophets of Baal began to call on Baal and they didn't get an answer. They got so upset they tore down the altar. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when they tore down the altar, then it was Elijah's right. turn. Oh, yeah. Elijah come along and put the wood in order. Mm -hmm. You see, he, when he rebuilt the altar, he put the wood in order. Order. And then he got 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Then he got 12 battles of water poured over the stone and over the sacrifice. Right. Thank God. Then he called on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. And then fire, fire came from heaven. Amen. But when he built the altar, he had to do it in order. In order. The church must be in order. That's right. Right. You're supposed to be holy? Why a Baptist man preaching in the church? Yeah. You're supposed to be holy? Why a Baptist man running a revival in the church? Amen. You're supposed to be holy? Why a politician Amen. is coming in here for votes? That's right. That's right. We're supposed to be so holy until a man cannot preach in God's house who don't believe all, all, all that's right. what the apostles stood for. That's right. If there come any unto you. Listen at this. Listen at, listen at this. In the book of 2 John chapter 1 and verse 10. If there come any unto you. And bring not this doctrine. And don't bring this doctrine. Receive him not into your house. No. Let him preach in the pulpit. Receive him not into your house. Let him run a week's revival. Receive him not into your house. You see, I can go to a place and preach all week and don't get an offering. That's right. I want to right. say what? Yeah, I don't want your money. I want your soul. Amen. I'm here, Augusta, for your soul. Oh, yeah. Your soul belong to God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Did you hear what it says? If there come any unto you. Any. 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 
You got the churches now, everything running revival. Anything running re so-called revival. That's right. That's I right. don't believe in women preachers because the apostles didn't. Mm -hmm. Why would a man that believed in women preachers preach here? Amen. Right. Amen. Why would a homosexual preach here? That's right. That's right. Why would a Methodist preach here? Amen. Why would a non-denominational preach here? We all supposed to have the same thing. That's right. Every preacher in this building, their words are not allowed to differentiate from the apostles the size of a gnat's eyelash. <laughs> Amen. It's truth. Oh, and said, I got a revelation. I don't care what you got. It's not a revelation that come from God that contradict the Bible. That's right. God's revelation is according to the Bible because it got to be backed up with the Bible. That's right. Are you listening? If there come any unto you. Listen. If there come <coughs> any unto they you. come any to you. And bring not this doctrine. What should we do with him? Receive him not into your house. And? Neither bid him God speed. Why? For he that biddeth him God speed. What is it? Is partaker of his evil deeds. You bid God speed to a false prophet. Mm -hmm. Use a wicked false prophet partaker. just like him. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God, I want to take my time and soak your lips. Son of man. Go back to Ezekiel, give chapter and verse again. Back in Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman. Are you a real watchman today? And if you say you are, who mm. made you? That's right. Did God made you? Mm -hmm. Or did the school make you? Amen. Or are you in a pulpit because your wife said, honey, I think you got the call. You think so? <laughs> You know, a lot of men in the pulpit because their wives threw them up there. That's right. They met some woman that told them, I, I always warned the preacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he get under some spell of the devil and tell a lie on God and say God made him a preacher. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll deal with that later. Come on, son. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yes. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Hear the word at my, at my mouth. And give them warning from me. Uh -huh. When I say unto the wicked. Look at here. When, when I, I say to the wicked. Thou shalt surely die. You're going to die. And thou givest him not warning. And if you don't warn the wicked about their wicked ways. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. What happened? To save his life. Uh -huh. the Wait a minute. Mm. The purpose of warning the wicked is to do what for? His to life. save his life. That's why we preach so hard. That's right. Save his life. I'm preaching to save your life. I don't care if you get so mad, you put both fingers up and walk out the door. That's right. mm -hmm. You still got a God to meet. Amen. I said, Janice, I ain't going to never listen to you again. That's all right. That's all right. The last voice you're going to hear is God's. That's right. Hey, man, you can hate me all you want. You will never get around what I'm preaching. Oh, no. It's just as easy to get away from what I'm preaching as it is to drill for oil with the tip of your nose. Amen. It'll never happen. It won't happen. Thank God this thing that I'm Hallelujah. preaching is higher than heaven. That's right. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea and it's longer than the earth. What is that? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. When I say to the wicked, you gonna die. And thou givest him not warning. I go, listen, I got to warn you. Got to do it. I'm not looking at your status, mm -mm. how many churches you have, how much money you have, the mm -hmm. car you got, how beautiful you believe you are. Mm -hmm. I don't care nothing about none of that stuff. No. I come by God's permission to give you warning. 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 I ain't going to get up here faking like I'm in some spirit and close my eyes. <laughs> oh, thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Thus said, oh, shut up. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. There ain't no warning. You's a fool. Amen. Go ahead. Haven't you been to churches and these men act like they got such a warning? Ooh, oh, oh, Thus saith the Lord. Ah, ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> God wants you to tell somebody something. God going to open your Amen. mouth to make it talk. That's right. All that shaking don't tell me nothing. Amen. Are you getting me? That's right. 
The holy book says what? And thou givest him not warning. You don't warn him. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. What that happened? To save his life. Uh -huh. The same wicked man the shall die in his iniquity. The same wicked man shall die. God don't want you to die in your sins. But his blood. That's why God sent a preacher that won't hold back nothing. That's right. In order for a man to be a real warner, mm. he can't love money. Because if he loved money, the crowd, the size of the crowd is going to dictate what he say right. and what he won't say. That's right. If there's a reasonable crowd, he going to make it his business not to hurt nobody feelings. Yeah. Because he want to wait for that preacher to bring that dog pan by. <laughs> That's right. So he can get paid. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. He don't care how many have second wives, third wives, live together, not married. He ain't going to touch none of that no. because he don't want to offend nobody. Right. I have met preachers that are so weak. They have told me, Pastor Jennings, you know, I want you to come preach. Hmm. I said, when and where? They said, but one thing, I don't want you to bring doctrine. Mm. Here's the Bible said they continue stood fastly in the apostles' doctrine. And men have told me, I, I, I don't want you to bring doctrine. doctrine. You don't want me to preach. No. I, right. I, Solomon says, I give you a good doctrine. good doctrine. You don't want doctrine? Stay home. Amen. Doctrine what save you. That's right. Doctrine what discipline you. If thou put the doctrine, brethren. Doctrine put order in your house. That's right. Doctrine put order in the church. Yeah. Doctrine make people submit and follow God's law. That's right. You don't want the doctrine of God, mm -hmm. you will never be saved. Yeah, no. Do you hear what the Bible says? In 1 Timothy 4 and at verse 6. 1 Timothy 4, 6 says. If, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things. If you put the brothers things, in remembrance of these things. Thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. You will be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Nourished up Nourished in the words of in words and faith and, and of good doctrine. What kind of doctrine? Good doctrine. How good is it? Whereunto thou hast attained. He already got it. He That's attained right. it. Attained it. So we have a good doctrine to give you. A full course meal. That's right. And all right, let's go back to Ezekiel, son. Let's finish up. Back in Ezekiel chapter 3. Everybody all right? All right, follow me. When, uh -huh. I, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Uh -huh. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Yes. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. And what? But, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, preacher. Amen. Are you afraid to tell the truth? Amen. That's it. That's it. Because here, here the old troublemaker now. Hmm. You can't say nothing to the church mm -hmm. until you get your house right. That's right. That's right. First Timothy, the third chapter. First Timothy, chapter three, and we we'll start at verse one. Let's go to work. It's time to put our 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 work boots on work now. Boots. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Time to put our work boots get on the boots now. On. Amen. Lord to God, I want to put my, my my holy Timberlands on. That's right. That's right. I want to work on the qualification of a preacher. Amen. And mm -hmm. I want to see who is called and sent direct right. by the Lord. That's right. And who is appointed That's it. indirect. That's right. All right, let's work on the qualifications of a preacher. Now, follow me. First Timothy chapter don't 3. Don't tell me who are Daniel. I don't want to hear nothing about that. I'm going to the Bible. <laughs> That's it. I don't care nothing about no famous bishop, none of that. None of that. Because hey, if you look at the way these churches are, Daniel, 30 men got their hands on you. Yeah. 30 different spirits. Oh, yeah. One of those, three of those fellas can be a homosexual. That's right. Four of them can love money. That's right. Another two can be a wife beater. Yeah. That's true. That's why Paul told Timothy, lay hands suddenly oh, no on man. No, man. no man. No man. No man. Don't be hasty. Some of these men ordain someone to just come to church. Mm -hmm. And they ain't been there long at all. Yeah. They're a good tired and often giver. Yeah. And because they come to church through all type of weather, yeah. they want to give them credentials. Yeah. There ain't no credentials. No. 
Let me show you Bible credentials. First Timothy chapter 3, we're starting at verse 1. Yeah, and follow me. This is a true saying. Anything opposite from this is a lying saying. Amen. Because this is a true saying. Glory to God. Amen. What is it, son? If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good work. No, she desire it. He desireth a good work. She desire it. If a man desire the office no, of a, a bishop. No, if a woman desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. And if you go to churches where you got woman bishops and woman pastors and deaconess and all that oh, yeah. recycled trash that came out of hell. That's you right. in a false church. Pastor by a false prophet and attended by hypocrites. Amen. I know some of you don't like it, and I don't care if you don't. No. Every church to have woman preachers is a false church throughout the state of Georgia. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I said all of them. All of them. I don't care if you're UPC, United Pentecostal, mm -hmm. PAW, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, mm -hmm. Church of God in Christ, Church of Pillar, Ground and Truth, Amen. Church of the Living God, Blue Church, Brown Church, the church in the upper room, the church in the dungeon. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build what? My church. And if Jesus built the church, it's a sin for man to have on his sign that he's the founder of the church. That's right. You ain't the founder of no church. That's a lie. That's a lie. Get that lie off your building. Amen. There's one originator of the church. Go ahead. And Jesus is he. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build I my build church. I build my church. My church. My church. That's right. When you say you're the founder of something, you're saying you're the originator of it. Yeah. How are you going to be the originator of the thing that was here before you? Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Yeah. This is a true saying. Hey Amen. We want to press out every wrinkle, you know. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to use we're going to use some good scriptural steam. That's right. Come on, son. This is a true saying. This. Glory to God is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desires a good work. All right. Let's see his credentials. A bishop then must be blameless. Uh-oh. Must be. You, wait a minute. Must be blameless. Must be. Must be blameless. When I examine your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how many wives you got? Amen. One. One. <laughs> Not divorcing got a second one. That's right. Not shacking up. That's right. Not making babies and you ain't married. Amen. Not smoking. Mm -hmm. Not gambling. Not playing the number. Yeah. Not betting on the races. That's right. Mm -hmm. Blameless. 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 Not preaching in church and pimp on your job. That's right. Am I right? That's right. This is the quality, this is the credentials here. A bishop then must be blameless. As what? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. Oh, you that got second wife, sit down. That's right. Your first wife still living, sit down. Sit down. Amen. All of you that claim you preachers or preacher wannabes, <laughs> and your first wife is living, yeah. and you got a second one, you know preacher. No. You know preacher, you listen, I don't care if, if a hand came out your toilet all danger. And every time you flush, the hand wouldn't let you go. <laughs> you tell Tidy Bowl man, you ain't no preacher. That's right. People have anything in the pulpit. Yeah. Any piece of garbage is in the pulpit, and fools are ready to say, that's a man of God. What is your measuring stick of a man of God? That's right. Because he passed through a church? Mm. Because he got bricks and mortar and lights mm -hmm. and got a following? That's not the measurement of a man of God. No, no. What do you use to measure a person's temperature? You got to get a thermometer. That's right. What do you use for the measuring stick? The, as a man of God, Amen. you got to go to the book. That's right. They don't measure to the book, fired. Amen. Amen. Fired. Hmm? Amen. Come on. A bishop then must be blameless. As what? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. Listen, that don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. The Apostle Paul wasn't married. That's right. Your, 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 your the preaching shouldn't hang whether you got a wife or not, because Paul was not a married man. Right. 
But it lets you know how many wives you're allowed to have. One wife. One. One. Mm -hmm. And don't lie and say the Lord showed you another one and your first one's still living, you liar. That's right. The Lord ain't showed you that. Your lower anatomy showed you that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. The husband of one wife. What else? Vigilant. 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 You got to be a vigilant brother before mm -hmm. you can be ordained. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sober. What? Sober. Stable-minded. That's right. Come on now. There's more than one way to be drunk. Some folks think drunkenness is only off liquor. No, when, when you drunk, that simply means you've been taken over by something. That's right. And most of these men are taken over by money or women. Yeah. Most preachers, if, if, if they can get away from women and money yeah. and liquor. And liquor. That's the preacher's trinity. <laughs> money. That's right. Women. Liquor. Amen. That's the preacher's trinity. Oh, yeah. 